Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge. All my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Today is fan Make Tom Sweat Day. Make Tom get out of the house day. Woohoo! Anyway, today we wanted to do a little special fan mail today because we haven't done fan mail in... I'm trying to remember when. It was before North Carolina. Uh, it was... Yeah, it was before North Carolina. It was before the series ended. No. Nah. No, it wasn't. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, the family was since before that. Because I remember I did one by myself. I think it was the last one. Oh, I thought I did one after that. We might have done another one. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's been a long time. And a lot of people have been asking me on Twitter and stuff, uh, you know, are aren't you doing fan mail anymore and like yeah if we weren't doing fan mail we wouldn't have the fan mail address still the p.o box still yeah. up there um you know and, I, and we got a lot of uh we had a lot of uh what do you call it tom from people we had a lot of uh not a lot but, but some i have no idea what you're talking about you know what i'm saying no i don't <laughs> we had a lot of people complaining and saying that we were like scamming people and ripping people off and stuff because people were sending us stuff but again i'll reiterate this from when i said this a long time ago i really only want letters that's it i mean right. just okay. a little a little thing that you yeah there was a word i was looking for back on fire you know when you get my age the words escape your mind yeah but it also doesn't really help when you're trying to explain what the word is without actually explaining what the word is and i have no idea what you're talking about if I could explain the word exactly, I would have just come up with the word. Not always. Anyway, point is, is that, you know, I, I've, I've gone over this in my mind several billion times, probably, because I overthink everything. But it's like, you know what? Screw, screw the haters. It's like, Tom's been telling me that from the beginning. He's like, don't even give any thought to them. It's like... The thing is, is like if somebody gives us something in there, I'm asking for nothing. I want nothing. So if somebody sends us a package or something like that, you know, that's a present that they're giving us. And why should we, why should we, that's like not opening a present. That's, could you imagine if I gave you a birthday present or you give me a birthday present and I'm like, oh, I can't open this in front of you because somebody might say I scammed people it's kind of rude open it and then hit you with it <laughs> right it's kind of rude but uh point is, is i still don't want gifts i want letters that's it um we're not going to do these all the time um every once in a while we'll do just remember i am always reading them um but uh we're going to we're going to do these every periodically whatever yeah. you know whenever we feel like doing them and, and stuff and uh this way, it's not too monotonous. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, Tom, you want to start, or you want me to start? Uh, sure, I'll start. It's only like 97 today, guys. That's all I'm supposed to get wow. up to today. <laughs> First one, and it's got a self-addressed envelope. Okay, see, I got uh, sweat on me and everything. Uh, Travis, I am 27. Uh, dear Uncle Larry, I love your no thumbs challenge. Uh, well, that was a oh, while ago. I love your no thumbs challenge, trying to laugh challenge. Oh. I also love your chilling and grilling videos. What's Can his I name? Have a... Travis. What's up, Travis? Uh, can I have a picture of you and Tom separately as an autograph? It would be awesome. Sit back, put your feet up, grab something cool to drink, and I'll meet you at the lounge. P.S. My birthday is in two months. If you can uh, send a birthday card. <laughs> I also got one of your shirts on Etsy and your bracelets. No hate, need just love. Uh, turn on this there. I uh, love you, Uncle Larry. You are a wonderful father to Tom. Sorry about my handwriting from 
10 men out of the lounge, 32. Okay, so this guy has written before. Awesome. Thank you, Travis. That means a lot to us to get a letter like that and everything. That's really cool. Looks like it's from somebody named Rebecca. What's up, Rebecca? Wow, that's it. It's kind of tight in there, too. Oh, we got a picture. Hmm. Good, because we need a picture up on the... We, we haven't had... No, nobody's really like sent us any pictures in a long yeah, time on the board. I know. Oh, this is a long one. And it's covered in emojis. Dear Uncle Larry, you are an A-plus person. My, this thing is hot. I can't even put my arm on it. That's why I'm not putting my arms on mine. My favorite moment I have ever seen of you was in Psycho Pirate Sinks Gaming Ship. He's come to finger the booty. <laughs> I watched that part on a loop for a good 20 minutes. Much laughter ensued. My name is Becky. Oh, it's Becca. Sorry. What's up, Becca? And I am 20 years old. I figured I would mix fan mail up for you and stay or and stray from your normal demographic. I live in Calvert County, Maryland, or Southern Maryland, to save you from confusion. <laughs> Doesn't take much for me. What are you laughing for? I've been watching since day one. If I had to classify myself, I would say I am a chiller and a lounger. I used to be a baller, but I've been sick for about four years now and had to stop. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, well, we root for Kentucky and UMD for college ball and the Wizards. Really, the Bullets for NBA. I also religiously follow DC United for MLS. I'm not much of a griller, but I am a huge foodie. Unfortunately, my parents have decided to become vegan. What? So I hope you don't mind, but I've decided to move in with you. <laughs> I know you understand. <laughs> that was a joke, but seriously, I am not above begging for delicious steak. <laughs> Due to my illness, I am unable to drive and I live at home. I'm really worried that when you have the 1 million subscriber party that I won't be able to get there. I have a very strange family situation. And while I know they love me for the most part, I wish you were my uncle. Ah, You can call me your uncle. Everybody does. Yeah. Except me. Just watching you on YouTube makes me feel like I have an awesome uncle who's got my back. You better believe it. Plus your Uncle Larry Wisdom Magic always levels me up. Tom, you play video games, so I know you will get that. Yeah. Level you up. Yeah, yeah. Also, dear Tom, if you have not yet played these games, I highly, rec highly, highly recommend them. Xbox, Alan Wake. Oh, Heard of it. Wolf Among Us. I've heard good things about that. Unravel. Hmm. Nintendo DS, 3DS, Life Signs Surgical Unit. Hmm. Alan Wake has some amazing music in it. Honestly, if you just watch the cutscenes, it makes a good movie. Soundtrack is on iTunes. Wolf Among Us is a telltale game, but has an amazing story. I think people don't give uh, enough credit to Telltale Games. Unravel is adorable and sweet, and the music is amazing. And Life Science is literally playing out an anime. I adore anime. I am sure if you watch any of the... Any, but I recommend... Kamasama Haji... Kamasama Haji... Haji Mashida. I think I said that. Food Wars Assassination Classroom. If 
I had to choose an all-time top three, those would definitely be it. Back to Uncle Larry. Anyway, I have added my picture for your wall. I'm a huge fan. I really look up to you. I hope to meet you one day. Until then, I'll keep on watching. As always, Uncle Larry is my heart and soul. May God bless you and your family and your friends. Toodles, Becca. P.S. Tommy, you remind me of my boyfriend. I bet he'd love to game with you sometime. I'll add his game and information in the end for you. Don't you love hearing that, Tom? Yeah. Yeah. You remind me of, of my boyfriend. Sorry, Tom. Don't read it on camera. Okay, I won't read that. Okay, and then she talks about it. Oh, she made a little thing here with... Uh, A bunch of graffiti all over it. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Becca. And I will put that on my board as soon as I find my freaking stapler. Um, it seems to have ran off. I cleaned the house for the our our party that we had here, and uh, somehow it got lost. Yeah. I know it's here somewhere, but I just I can't figure out where where I put it. So. I don't know how she got that in there. So, uh, I think it's kind of hot out. Yeah, we're going to go inside now. I don't like sweating. Especially not when I'm just sitting here. I don't mind sweating, but it's hard to read when you have sweat just running down you. Yeah, this is pretty bad. So we're going to go inside, guys. Yeah, we're going to get another shower. Much better in here, isn't it? A lot. I just changed my shirt because there were sweat stains on it. Well, right after we get done here, I'm going in the pool. And I'm getting another shower. Okay. It's your turn, isn't it? Uh... Giddy up. It is. Oh, by the way, just want to let you guys know, I found the stapler. <laughs> well, I found the stapler in the same place that he looked multiple times. Yeah. And we already got Becca's picture up there, which you can't see now. Oh, I see how it is. Oh. Three pages front and back. That's not, uh -huh. that's not my fault. Uh-huh. But you know what? You're fast. I bet you probably rigged it when I was busy doing other stuff. No. I bet you did. Some of that might not be... You might not be able to read on camera anyway, so just... Hi, Uncle Larry and Tom. Byron again with my third letter to you guys. Byron? Byron. What's up, Byron? This, this, uh, this guy's from Australia. Ah, neat. So anyway, we noticed that you asked a question, Uncle Larry. You asked us the ages at the station. Well, the answer that the answer to that is uh, the station. Station, yeah. Oh, is this a, uh, the is radio this a... guys? I think. Oh. Uh, 15, 15 to 50 years of age. But wow. anyway, I have sadly lost a mate on Monday the 8th of August 2016. Say what? I'm, I'm sorry, I was talking. Sadly lost a mate on Monday the 8th of August 2016 as he committed suicide at 2.50 a.m. The body has been retrieved from the tracks as he got hit by a passenger train. The emergency services have been on the scene for several hours. The train has been delayed up to 130 minutes as it was meant to leave Wagga Wagga at 2.47 a.m. to go to Sydney. But anyway, he loves watching you guys and you're his favorite YouTubers. He loves everything on the content he watches. On, he watches on Channel and Grill and he loves to cook. As he told me ages ago, every time there's a new video, he will cook it up and serve it to his family for dinner. Richard has always been a big fan of you guys. He subscribed when Larry was on just created. He never missed one video, uh, but looks like he has, unless he is watching from the skies above. Uncle Larry, this was his last words he said about you. His words were, Uncle Larry is a lovely guy. He makes everyone's day. He puts a smile on my face every day. He doesn't put anyone down. He is funny and cool, and I would love to meet him in person. Keep it up. 
Tommy had something to say about you. Tommy's a funny guy. He makes my day with his gaming and funny attitude. He never lets anyone down. Uh, love to versus him in a game. Make more videos. So hopefully you receive these letters and here's some photos of the Wave FM logo on me. And Richard's last video he wanted was wasting time prank. Or that he watched was wasting time prank. So yeah, but anyway, be sure to buy my movie I'm releasing, which will have Australian celebrities in it, and it's going to cost me $3,000, which I have for my job, which I saved, but I'm going to be nice and give you and Tom one for free with autograph by us, and maybe a shirt, uh, which I think we can, I don't know, I think, yeah, but let me know. The website, I guess the website, uh, but don't read that out as it counts as a shout out, and the movie is Junkies, Junkies of the West, starring Alex Romano as Jimmy the Junkie, and Byron Brennan as Baza, and Tim Thrope as Sharky Boy. So let me know after this letter and the movie is released January 2017, late January, so yeah. Uh, hashtag Rip Richard is used everywhere, so please use that to support him and his family. Thanks. Richard's family watches you guys, they love you. And while I think I got that self stamp address thing you ask for, all the best, Byron. Quick question, Uncle Larry. Uh, do you like Real Gone Kid by Deacon Blue? What's that? I, Is that a song? I guess. I don't know, I never heard of it. Or if I have, I just don't know about the title. By the band name. Tom, if there was one game you play, what one do you play the most? Um, funnily enough, actually, I, I've gotten back into Phantom Pain, so I guess that. Uh, Uncle Larry, what was your favorite meal you cooked up? Wow. My favorite. It's hard to say because there's so many of them, but I, it's always going to probably be chicken pot pie. Even though the cheese ball chicken was absolutely delicious. Uh, Tom, what was your favorite meal your dad cooked up? Um, um, there's there's a bunch of them, and uh, it's hard to pinpoint. It is really, really hard to pinpoint. Uh, first one popped in my mind: crab bisque. <laughs> it just popped in. Right? It just popped in. It's just so I'm saying that. Anyway, that's it for me. Let me know if you want more letters, and I'll try to keep it short next time. <laughs> also, love the prank with the features on Jesse and Jeffrey. Uh, Jesse, known as McChicken Nuggets, and Jeffrey Big Chicken. <laughs> Take care, guys. See ya. And the third page is blank. That, uh, you know, that's a powerful letter right there, and it's so sad whenever I hear anybody that young... Did you did he say the age of the person that... He didn't. Um, anybody that... Well, it doesn't really matter what the age is. When somebody takes their... Oh, sorry. Um, when somebody takes their own life, it's so sad to me because it's like... And if they were... Especially if they're young, because it's like... When you're young, you think that everything is like the end of the world. Like, every, every little problem is like... It's so huge and everything. And... and you know, when you get to be my age and everything, you usually find out that it's, you know, it's not the end of the world and everything. But uh, my heart goes out to his family. That's so sad to hear. Okay, you recognize that name, don't you? Uh, sure. Well, I, I do, because I, you know, I know her on Twitter and everything. Plus, I think she's written to us before Faith. Plus, I love the name Faith. Faith is a good name. Nobody writes me on Twitter anymore. So, nobody, no, probably because you don't talk to anybody back. I wouldn't keep writing to you either if you're not going to write back. Sometimes I do. Anyway, hi Uncle Larry, it's Faith. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic, thank you Faith. I have been doing well. I will be starting school very soon. I am a bit nervous. As a matter of fact, she probably started by now. 
I'm a bit nervous about it. Unfortunately, I may not be able to make it to VidCon, but my mom <laughs> planned. Uh, no, she had, she had talked to me that she was going to go to VidCon. That's I, I know, but it's like VidCon was how long ago? <laughs> She's talking about this one coming up. Oh, okay. But my mom planned on taking me to the one million party, so I will be able to meet you there. Uh, there'll probably be more than one VidCon to go by <laughs> before the one million party. Yeah. I love watching the challenges that you and Joe do. They are so funny. And Tom. She didn't put Tom, but Tom's in a lot of those challenges. Well, not any of the ones that eat. I don't do gross things. He doesn't do gross things. They're so funny. My favorite one is the Try Not to Laugh Challenge. Tom was in that I was in that one. That's all for now. I can't wait to meet all of you at the one million party. Your friend Faith. Faith, so sorry to tell you, but the one million party is a long, long ways away. I mean, if you look at, you know, our subs don't grow that fast or anything, you know, like that. So it's going to be quite some time. It might be a couple of years before we hit a million. So, I mean, Jeffrey has been like teeter totter and like right around there for yeah. like forever and uh and he can't quite get there so um uh you probably will have a better chance of just being invited to a regular party that i have um because i do plan on having one but uh it's only by invite though so and now the box the box what's in the box what is in the Ooh. a lot of stuff is in the box. Wow. Huh. Oh. <laughs> For my wife. Well, since she doesn't appear on camera, I'll it's, open it for her. At the very least, pre-read it before you read it out loud. Huh? This is a bunch yeah, of stuff in here. It's all like mini, like, bags of stuff, too. Please, Mrs. Abraham, please accept this gift card. It is meant to be. It has nothing to do with YouTube or any channel on YouTube. It is a gift from my family to yours. Hope you all enjoy a nice meal with it. God bless. That's awesome. It's a, it's a gift card to Applebee's. One of my favorite places to go. Uh, we got Applebee's. Uh, we can step into a swim gym. Wonder, wonder oh, yeah. I want... I wonder if my wife will let me go with her. That is awesome, though. Um, that's from Dave, Jackie, and Anita, by the way. Yes. They are, I, I knew that, but they did. You know, and, I, and I'll get I'll get bitched at from some people about this, about, like, oh, he, he takes and blah, 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 this from... from this guy, you know, I've talked to him many, many times, and matter of fact, he's given a lot of gift cards that we have in turn turned them around and gave them out to you guys and stuff. And uh, there we go, peaches. And and the fact of the matter is, is, it's a gift to us, and we appreciate it so much. I would much rather just have a letter, but if his heart, you know, and you know, a lot of gummy snacks. Has him do this, then. Then you know, so be it. We can't stop it. Wow, this is like really. This is like really loaded. Yeah, no kidding. What's this? Oh. Garfunkel, please keep warm this sweater. It's a nice little blanket for Garfunkel. And right on. That is awesome. Did you hear that, Garfunkel? I think she meow. All right, kick ass, that stuff. Wow, this is awesome. Ooh, the Swedish fish. Because I love me some Swedish fish. Oh, Caroline. These are pretty good. I don't think I've ever had them. <laughs> okay, well, first off. Ah, What's this? it's a very nice decorated magnet. But, uh, what I laughed at. Yeah, that is so cool. Mac and cheese, I wonder who that's for. Big four box of it. I wonder who that's for. 
pretty good. Is it tamper proof? Yeah. Huh? Tamper is bad. I'm gonna put hot sauce in your Swedish fish. What? Don't test me. Uh, oh, it's some more treats. Garfunkel, you got some treats too! Yeah. And treats. Wow. That is awesome. Dave, Jackie, and Anita, we appreciate this more than you'll ever know. Faith, Becca. I shouldn't have tried to remember uh, everybody's name. Travis? Travis is one of them. Travis. Uh, and, uh, 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 the Australian dude. What was his name? Was that Travis? The guys from the radio station in no, Australia. I can't, I can't do them like that. <laughs> Byron. Byron, that's it. Byron, all you guys, man, you guys mean so much to us. We love each and every one of you guys. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Yep. All right, guys, again, thank you so much. We love each and every one of you more than you'll ever even understand. Don't forget to hit the like on the on this video. Subscribe for more. All right? Anything yep. else to say? No hate needed, just love. Till next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. Or Maybe. warm if you left it outside for a while. Why would you mess up my outro? I was like in the middle of it. I interjected when there was a blank space. Anyway, till next time, grab yourself something cold to drink or warm. Put your feet up and relax. We'll meet you at the lounge. Why? Another 